Ben Howe. I hope you're doing absolutely awesome today. Check it out. We're working with Midway Fire Rescue in Pauley Island, South Carolina. Well, you know, firemen use all kinds of different tools to teach us about fire safety, <laughs> like fire trucks. Ooh, ooh. And like this, this is a mobile classroom. Oh, and we're gonna learn all about it today. Come on, let's go. Look at this mobile classroom. It's absolutely awesome. Well, let's see. It says Family Safety House. Oh, that's great. This is Midway Fire Rescue. Oh, look at this. Look, it has a picture of two kids. What are they doing? It looks like they're crawling on the floor. Oh, it says crawl low under smoke. Oh, that's great. Oh, it even has, even has a really cool looking door, like the door of a house. Hello, anyone home? Oh, I can't wait to go inside. Oh, but look at this. Oh, this is really cool. This looks like a map of a house. It's got bedrooms, it's got the bathroom, the living room, and the kitchen. Well, let's see, it says have an escape plan and meeting area. Oh, oh, so that means whenever there's a fire in your house, you need to make sure that you actually have an escape plan. So you can actually draw up a map and a plan of your house with all of your bedrooms and bathrooms and kitchens. Oh, and you gotta make sure that you have two ways of escape. Oh, and see, look, they've got arrows pointing all over the place. Oh, you have to have a primary escape path and a secondary escape path. Oh, but you also have to have a meeting place. So once you get out, oh, you can meet right here all together as a family. Oh, like at the tree, like an oak tree out front, or oh, maybe like a mailbox. That's kind of cool. Or Oh, a neighbor's house. You can go to a neighbor's house. That's really, really cool. Oh, oh and look, maybe we got a picture of it. Look, it's the family and they're meeting by this big humongous tree oh, or even the mailbox. <laughs> oh, that's great. Well, you know, something like this has to have a lot of power to power it up. Oh, come on, let's go check that out. Oh, look my friends, this is what they use to power this fire safety house. <laughs> it's a generator. Oh, what's really, really cool about it? It's remote control. <laughs> All I have to do is press a button and it starts. Let's try it. looks absolutely amazing in here. Oh, this is actually where they teach everyone about fire safety in your home. Oh, they got a really cool little bleacher seating right here like this so everyone can sit and learn about fire safety. Oh, this is great. Oh, look, they've even got a mini kitchen here oh, to teach you about fire safety in your kitchen. Oh, now you know, there are a lot of things you need to know about your kitchen when it comes to fire safety, because there's so many things that can get really, really hot, like your stove and your oven. Oh, one thing you need to do whenever you're cooking, always make sure there's an adult in the kitchen with you. <laughs> oh, and you gotta make sure that the handles are always turned away from you. That way, if you're running by, you don't knock it over and burn yourself. And always make sure that you have a nice tight fitting lid for the pot that you're using. That way, if anything catches on fire on the inside, oh, 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 you, can, you can cover it up. Oh, and that is what actually takes away the oxygen from the fire and it smothers it. Oh, but be sure not to touch the pot until it has fully cooled down. Oh, oh that's great. Oh, and then your oven. Oh, see, oh, you always gotta make sure that we set a timer for whatever's on the inside. That way we don't forget about what we're cooking. Yep. Oh, because if not, it could catch on fire. So maybe set a timer or actually stay in the kitchen and watch what you heat. Oh, that's cool. Watch what you heat. Not watch what you eat. 
Watch what you eat. <laughs> oh, that's great. So we've got that. Oh, and you've even got a microwave. Oh, let's look at it. <laughs> oh, well, nothing's inside. Oh, you know, it's really important. Whenever we use our microwave, that there's an adult in the kitchen with us. We gotta make sure not to set the timer for too long because our food could burn, even catch on fire. So it's really, really important to watch what we have in the microwave and stay with it. Oh, and be really, really important. Don't put any kind of metal inside of a microwave. Oh, because it can spark and catch on fire real fast. <laughs> oh, so microwaves and staying with it, it's really, really important. Maybe I might need to put some popcorn in there. <laughs> oh, my oh, friends, check this out. This is the control room for this fire safety house. And it's pretty amazing. Got some pretty cool controls in here. Oh look, they've even got cameras and videos so we can see what all is taking place. That's pretty cool. Oh, they got some switches here, like for lights. Mm-hmm. Oh, let's see. Oh, vents, that's kind of cool. Oh, and a smoke alarm. Check this out. Oh, wow, can you hear that? It's really loud. Oh, well, it's gotta be loud. So you'll know that there's a fire in the house. <laughs> All right, so we got that. Oh, let's see. We'll have a PA system in here. That's pretty cool. Oh, and look, they actually have a smoke machine. Oh, they use theatrical smoke to simulate real smoke. <laughs> That's pretty amazing. Oh, and they actually have a phone. So the person who's working in here and is the controller, they can act like the 911 dispatcher. It's really, really important. Well, I guess we got to get back to teaching some folks about fire safety. <laughs> mm, how to use a fire extinguisher. Oh, my friends, look. They even have fire extinguishers in here. Oh, well, they have different sizes. They have the big ones, they've got small ones. Well, oh, you know, it's really important to have a fire extinguisher in your home. Most important, you know how to use one. <laughs> oh, and it's really, really simple. Look, right here, see? We have to remember the word pass, right? The P stands for pull, the A stands for aim, the S stands for squeeze, and the last S stands for sweep. Cool, let me show you. So the P is for pull, so you have to pull the pin, just like that right there, okay? Oh, and then the next one is A for aim. So we take our nozzle here, that way we can aim right where the fire is. Ooh, and the first S is for squeeze. Oh, so that means to squeeze the trigger, right? <laughs> oh, and then the last S is for sweep. So you sweep your nozzle from the left to the right. Oh, and that's how we use a fire extinguisher to put out a fire. But if you ever use up all of the contents of your fire extinguisher and you still have a fire, what you need to do is drop your fire extinguisher and get out of the house as quick as you can. Yep, and go to your safe spot or maybe a neighbor's house. Oh, well, we got to make sure that we really know how to operate a fire extinguisher. <laughs> well, what's cool about this mobile classroom is behind this door, they actually have a simulated fire to where we can use a fire extinguisher. Oh, maybe we should try it. You want to? Fire alarm now. Let's check it out. Oh wow! Yes, it looks like there's a fire in there. Oh, oh. Ooh. well, let's use what we learned about the fire extinguisher. Our pass. All right, so we have to pull the pin. Ooh. Let's take our nozzle and aim, squeeze, and sweep. Oh yeah! Oh, back and forth to the left and right. Ooh, it looks like we're putting it out. <laughs> oh yeah, this is great. Almost there, just a little bit more. Oh wow, wow. Oh and look, it tells me the time it took me to put out that fire. So 52.7 seconds, oh wow. Oh, this is a pretty cool tool to learn about fire safety with. Oh, that's great. All right, my friends. Also on this mobile classroom, they have a simulated room, kind of like your bedroom. 
Oh, and here you can actually learn about your escape routes. You always gotta make sure that you got at least two escape routes. You can either use like a window or a door. Um, oh, but you gotta be really, really careful because if the door is closed, we need to find out if there's a fire on the other side of that door. And there's a really easy way to find that out by your hand. But make sure you use the back side of your hand because the skin on the back side of your hand is a lot more sensitive. <laughs> you know, it's really important that your family maybe do a couple of practice runs. That way, you know what to do and you're safe and secure. <laughs> oh, wow. Can you see? Oh, there's smoke already coming down. <laughs> Well, maybe we can maybe we can practice what we have learned already. It's really, really important. Now listen, when smoke comes down, get on the ground and crawl in smoke. Oh, do you know why? Oh, because down here, the air is a whole lot more fresher and cleaner because smoke rises. So what do you do? Let's find a way out. <laughs> so we can crawl. Maybe we'll check this door first, okay? So we use the back side of our hand. Wow, yeah, that door's really, really warm. So maybe we need another exit. Maybe we'll try this door over here. Come on, all right, make sure we stay low. We'll try this door right here. Let's use the back side of our hand, right? Oh, yeah, it's nice and cool. That means we can use it. Come on, let's go. Oh, go to the ground. Oh, wow, oh, oh, oh. I sure am glad I had an escape route today. You know, we've had an amazing day working with Midway Fire Rescue in Pauley's Island, South Carolina. We certainly learned a lot about fire safety in our home, right? Oh, it's been great about safety tips. Well, thanks for watching Handyman How today. Oh, look, it's my ride. It's a fire truck. <laughs> oh, yeah. Thanks for watching Handyman How. We'll see you later. How you doing? <laughs> See ya! Cause we're awesome, 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 awesome Yeah, we're awesome, 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 yes we are And we're smart and we're cute, we're even awesome when we toot <laughs> Excuse me We're awesome, 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 awesome All the firefighters in the fire station are awaiting clear communication because we just got a call. Grab the gear off the wall, no time for long deliberation. We got a fire and we gotta put it out. That's what firefighting's all about. So we get in the truck and we turn the siren up and it's off to the next destination. to go to school so they can learn all the safety rules and when they're in the know into the truck and off they go firefighter what a cool vocation we got a fire and we gotta put it out put it out that's what firefighting's all about all about so we get in the truck and we turn the siren up and it's off to the next destination Put the fire in termination We got a fire and we gotta put it out Put it out That's what firefighting's all about All about So we get in the truck and we turn the siren up And it's off to
to the next destination. We got a fire and we gotta put it out. Put it out. That's what firefighting's all about. All about. So we get in the truck and we turn the siren up and it's off to the next destination. Da 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 di da. Da 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 di da. Destination. Let's go. We got a fire and we gotta put it out. Put it out. That's what firefighting's all about. All about. So we get in the truck and we turn the siren up and it's off to the next destination. Awesome. So we get in the truck and we turn the siren up and it's off to the next destination. Awesome. Hold on, friends. <laughs> We're getting ready to check out the ladder. But well, first look, look at all these really cool hydraulic arms here that actually lift up the fire truck. There's one on the front, one in the middle, and one on the end on each side. But if you look, the fire truck is completely over the ground. <laughs> That's awesome. Gotta make sure that it's level to extend the ladder. Come on, let's go. Oh yeah. Oh, check this out. This is where the controls are. <laughs> Got some really cool levers here and some switches. Got to make sure all the switches are on first. Yep, there we go. And a really special pedal that actually activates the hydraulics. Are you ready? Listen. Oh, wow. You hear that? It's the engine revving up. All right, so. First thing we have to do is we have to lift the ladder out of its cradle. Watch this. Gotta lift it up nice and easy. Slow and steady. There we go. Check that out. Can you see it lifting up? Oh, wow. This is awesome. So we can lift it straight up and Check this out. We can spin it. We can go counterclockwise, but just to the left. Oh yeah. Yep. And we can go clockwise. Check this out. I can come back to you. Isn't that great? All right, and then also, we got something really, really cool. We can climb up really high. And we can extend the ladder. Here we go, watch it. Oh yeah, look at there. That's awesome, ain't it? Oh, we can go all the way up. Check that out. It's amazing, isn't it? Oh yeah. And of course we can bring it back down. Here we go. And we can lower it all at the same time. Watch this. Oh, this is great. Oh, do you know that this ladder can go up to 75 feet? That's really high. Oh, it's pretty awesome, right? Oh, isn't yeah. this awesome? Any man, you want to try the bucket out? Ooh. Think I can try the bucket out? Oh, that would be awesome! Let's get you up there. Oh, let's go! Now we get to go up into the bucket. Check this out. We've got a really cool ladder belt here to actually strap us to the bucket to keep us safe. Come on, let's go. Oh, yeah. Oh, we're going to climb right up here. Oh, oh we're going to be safe, though. Here we go. Yep, handyman. Are we right up here? Yeah. Oh, here we go. Let me just open the door. Oh, 
This is gonna be great! <laughs> We can even see the top of this building. Oh, that's cool. Wow. It goes up about, this one right here is a 75 footer. Oh, wow. So it goes up 75 foot in the air. Oh, and here we go. Uh -huh. You're extending the ladder now. This is great. So have you ever had to use this to fight a fire before? We have, we have, we have. Uh, the bigger houses in the Waibu Lake area, uh, you know, two or three story house, we use it to get above the fire and, and, and put water down on it. Hey man, if you look over there, you can see the high school. Oh, that's right, you can see the high school over there. Well, that looks like the football field. That is exactly right. Oh, wow. Anyway, I love learning about new tools. And look, they even got a slide. So of course, we gotta check it out. Come on. Let's go. Oh, yeah. This is gonna be great. Oh, of course, you know what we have to use. <laughs> Handyman Hal, super side spray. Oh, yeah, let's see. Oh, 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 we gotta turn it on. There it goes. Oh, yeah, this is gonna be great. Oh, I love slides. <laughs> All right, so we got it in there. Let's wipe it down. Okay, let's wipe it down. Okay. Oh, yeah, there it goes. Oh, yeah, there we go. Oh, hold on. We gotta get in here really good. Okay. Oh, really good. Okay. Oh, yeah. Are you ready? Let's go. Oh, right, here we go. Wow. Oh, 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 wow. That was awesome. Oh, look. Look at all of these patches. These patches are from fire stations all over the country. You know that each fire station has their own distinct patch. They come in all different, in different shapes and designs. Well, oh, that one even has a, a soldier on it. Oh, that's kind of cool. All right, let's see. What's can we find in here? Oh, let's see. Oh, those are really, really cool. That one's got a fire hat on it. That one's cool. <laughs> oh, let's see. Oh. oh, and look, this one even has the shape of our state. South Carolina. Oh, and it's from Myrtle Beach. That's really cool. These are really interesting. Ooh, I wonder if I can make me a patch. Come on, let's go. Now, we get to make our own firefighter patch. How cool is that? Oh, this machine does it, let's see. Oh yeah, let's see, we gotta read the instructions before you begin. Firefighters wear special patches to represent their departments. Oh, that's cool. You can make your own patch that you can print and wear on home. <laughs> Let's do it. Oh, there we go, start button. All right, let's see here. We get to choose our shape. What kind of shape? We got a round one. That one looks kind of cool. There's an oval one. Oh, that looks like a shield. Oh, that's cool. Well, which one? Oh, maybe we should get this one right here. This one looks really, really cool. How about that? Oh, that's great. Let's see. Let's go to the next button. Oh, I can choose my color. Oh, this is hard. Oh, I got two favorite colors. Let's see, we could do a blue one. Oh, that's great. Check that out. We just slide it across it. Oh, we can do, oh look, an orange one. Oh, maybe we're gonna have to go with orange. I like that. Oh, let's see, next button. Let's see, oh, the inside. Oh, so now we can choose blue. Oh, it's great. Oh, that's great, right? Next, all right, now we see, type your name. Oh yeah, let's see. There's an H in our name. Let's see, there's an A and an L. Oh, look at that. It says how. That's me. <laughs> All right, we can say done. Oh, let's see here. Oh, Hasnack Public Safety Badge Squad. Oh, let's see. Do we want to do public safety? The brigade. Oh, that's kind of cool. Squad. Oh, what else is down here? Let's see. Oh, fire department. That's cool. Oh, well, let's do the squad. I like the squad. It's the how squad. <laughs> All right, so next. Oh, we get to choose a. Let's see, a picture on there. Oh, that's kind of cool. It's got a firefighter on there. Oh yeah, putting the fire out. Oh, 
And that's even got a fire. Oh, that's really cool. Let's see what else we got. Uh, oh, there's a fire truck. Oh, I like that one. You like that one? Does that look good? Oh, I think we're good with that one. Now, we just got to hit the print button. Oh, yeah. Let's see. Your patch is being printed. Please wait a few moments. All right, we're going to wait. Let's get, oh, look. I think it's already come out. Look at that. It's our patch. Oh, it's really cool. There's a lot of fire engines here. Do you know, they've got over 20 fire engines from over 10 decades. That's a lot, and a lot of engines. <laughs> Do you know that these trucks are fully operational and fully restored? So you know what that means? That means you can get in them right now and go driving down the road and go fight fires, just like they did when they were made. Isn't that awesome? <laughs> I wonder if we can get in it right now. Oh, which one I would choose? Hmm, that's a hard decision. Oh, look, my friends. This is Fire Marshal Gill. How are you, sir? I'm doing great. How about you? I'm doing great. What What are you doing here? We're going to demonstrate how to use a fire extinguisher. Oh, that's really cool. Yes. Do you know the acronym for fire extinguisher using a fire extinguisher? Mm, I think I do. Oh, it's PASS. That is correct. You know what the P stands for? Oh, pull! You have pull to pull the, the pin. pin, yeah! That's right. A? Oh, you gotta aim. You gotta aim at the fire, that's right, aim. yeah. The first S. Oh, you gotta squeeze, like to squeeze the squeeze trigger. Squeeze the trigger. And then the last S? Oh, I think this one's tough. Oh, it's the left, oh, the sweep, the, from sweep. the left to the right, yeah. That is correct. Oh, that is totally awesome. Well, what kind of fire extinguisher is this? This is the most commonly found in homes and in some businesses. This is a combination ABC. Okay. The A stands for ash, wood product, paper product. B stands for boiling liquids, mm. flammable liquids. Okay. And C stands for current, electrical. Oh, wow. That's cool, there's three different classes of fire and this extinguisher puts it out. And you, you're gonna demonstrate that right now, aren't you? Yes, I am. All right, well, come on, let's see it. All right. <laughs> All right, we got the fire going. The first thing you do is pull the pin. You aim. Squeeze. Sweet. And then the fire is out. Oh, wow. That was totally awesome. <laughs> now, do you want to try? Oh, I would love to try it. That's going to be awesome. Come on, let's go. <laughs> right now, I'm setting the fire for you, handyman. Right, I'm ready. Let's go. Oh, there it goes. Okay, so let's see. Pass, right? So yeah. the first thing we have to do is pull the pin. Oh, there it goes. All right, and then we gotta aim just like that. Squeeze and then sweep. Oh, wow. Oh, look at that. We did it. Oh, the fire's out. Awesome job. Thanks, Fire Marshal Gill. Anytime. <laughs> Oh look, this is my friend Captain Johnson. How are you, sir? I'm doing good, how are you? I'm doing awesome. What, what is this? This here is our training prop with ordinary uh, stove and oven. Um, we got a pot on the stove and we're gonna simulate a grease fire. Oh, okay, that's kinda cool. Yeah, happens a lot. Uh, you know, people like to eat pork chops, fried chicken, fries. Oh, I do like some fried chicken. <laughs> yeah. don't, don't we all? Uh, it, it occurs a lot. We're gonna go over some things to help put it out if it happens. Okay, cool. Okay. Well, what might those things be? Uh, we can use baking soda. You know, everybody has baking soda or salt. Salt, okay, everybody cool. has that. Uh, today we're gonna use a wet rag. An ordinary kitchen towel is wet and we're just gonna smother the fire. Well, that's cool. Well, what do you not put on one? We do not put water. Wow. Water, cool. yeah. Water makes it spread quickly, very quickly. 
and then to go from a small fire to a big fire wow. in matters of seconds. Wow, this is really cool that we get to learn about fire yeah. safety. This is great. So, so I thought today I would I would simulate and demo one first, and then maybe you can give it a try, handyman. Oh, really? That would be totally awesome. Let's see it. Okay, let's do it. So here we just have an ordinary kitchen towel of soap and we're just going to put it over the fire let it smother it. And once you put it on there, you don't take it off. Then I'm going to take it off, see? It's gone. It's out. Alright, oh, all right, Captain Johnson. I got all my safety gear on, got my jacket on, oh, and my helmet. Oh, it's great. And I even got my rag here. Oh, and it's nice and wet. Yeah. I got it sugar wet in the sink. Oh, wow. These beast fires can get really big, can't they? Very quickly. Oh, all right, so are we ready? Just toss it over the top, right? That's right, nice and easy. Here we go. Oh, wow. Amazing. You know, it's really cool learning about fire safety, even with simple household objects. It's really cool. Okay, so can I take it off now? Yeah. Oh, it here we go. Oh, wow. That's awesome, we did it. Awesome job. Well, all right, my friends. Now, we gotta get ready for a fire call. And we gotta fill up the fire truck with some order. Ooh, we got our fire hydrant. And we got our supply hose. See if we can get, get this connected here. This is a little bit bigger than my garden hose. There it goes. We gotta twist it. Push that and lock it down. Ugh. Ugh. Oh, there we go. So we got it. Now I need a I need a hydrant wrench. Oh, look! We got it. Check this out. It's adjustable, you see? It goes up and it comes down. Alright, so we gotta connect it right here. Just like that. Tighten it up. Lefty Lucy, righty tighty. So to the left. Really nice and easy. No, nope, let's see. Uh, here we go. Nice and easy. Oh, here we go. Oh, here we go. I think it's coming out. There it goes. You can see the hose filling up. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. There we go. All right, come on. Oh, wow. So what are we doing now? Okay. So now we've got water. Now we got to spray water. So oh, wow. We got everything ready to go. So we just got to pull this and water's going to come out of that gun. Oh, wow. That's awesome. Hey, handyman, won't you go give it a try? All right, come on. Let's go. <laughs> All, right. All right. Let's go. Right here. Handlebars. Oh, yep. We're almost there. All right. Here we go. All right, we gotta unlock it so we can move it around. Oh yeah, there we go. Oh wow, look at that. Oh, and we can do this right here. We can raise it up and we can lower it down. Oh, there we go. Check that out. Look how far that's bringing. Oh, this is amazing. Oh, that's great. Oh, awesome job. Wow, that's shooting out there far. It's right there. There we go. Yeah, right there. We're doing awesome. This is called a deluge gun. Oh, it's awesome. See how far it shot that water? So, we've got a lock right here. Lift it up, oh, and that's what allows it to move to the left and to the right. And we've got the spin knob here that allows it to go up and allows it to go down. Oh, we go pretty far down there. Check that out. Oh, that's awesome.
to the side just like that. Check out this place. It's like the old firefighter's house. They got a refrigerator, they got cabinets, they got a kitchen, they got a sink. They've got a table to eat at. And look, Kevin's eating dinner already. Yep. How cool is that? Oh, whoa. What is that? Got a call. A call? Got a fire. Oh, well, let's yeah. go. Yeah. All right, Kevin, what do we need? What do All we right, Hammond, how what we have right here? You, you got a coat, need you to put your coat on? Oh, sweet, sweet, sweet. All right, let's get this on. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Oh, got some thumbs there. Got some thumbs in. Yeah. And we got a trade helmet. Oh, okay, sweet. There we go. Oh, sweet. Are you ready? Let's go. All right, come on around and get in the, in the front seat for us. Get in. <laughs> oh. Safety first, bubble. All right, here we go. Let's go. Oh, 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 we see the light. Oh, here we go. Here we go. really cool this is a fire truck simulator oh, that is really awesome let's check out the inside oh let's check out back here oh yeah oh look at all of this this is the back part of the fire truck this is called the jump seats oh how cool is that this is where all the other firefighters sit whenever they're racing down the road to get to the emergency this is really cool right oh, we even got some really cool buttons back here Oh, that's cool. Look at some really cool lights. Oh, it's cool. Come on. See what else we can find. Oh, oh. From one side to the other. Oh, look. They even got the lights. Oh, yeah. And the mirrors. Oh, that's cool. Oh, they even got the lights on the top. Oh, this is going to be great. Come on. Let's go get in the driver's seat. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is going to be really cool. Have you ever been inside of a fire truck before? Oh, yeah. Oh, look. It's like I'm the captain and I'm driving the fire truck. Isn't this really, really cool? Of course, we got our steering wheel. We got our horn. <laughs> oh, that great. Oh, we got all these kind of controls here. Oh, yep. Yeah. Let's see here. Oh, and then we've got some buttons up here that actually turns our lights on. Oh, and look. This is where we touch to start the simulation. Here we go. It says standby. Your call is coming in. Can you hear it? 86 major, 6 major accident, 2603 up this road. Oh, wow. 86 major accident, 2603 oh, It's an accident. Oh, oh this is going to be great. Here. Oh, wow. Oh, and look. It says press the blue flashing light to start the engine. 
And there it is. Are we ready? Here we go. Oh, wow. When you can even see it. Oh, the seat's vibrating. Oh, yeah. Listen. Oh, and the gate's going up. Oh, I think it's time to go. We gotta go to the emergency. So now, we just need our sirens and our horn. And let's see them there. You ready? Here we go. There it is. And the air horn. Oh, that's great. <laughs> and we just gotta go. Let's go to the emergency. <laughs> this is great. <laughs> it's like I'm a real firefighter. <laughs> Handyman, help to the rescue. <laughs> oh, yeah. Watch out, everybody. We're coming through. We gotta get to the emergency. <laughs> oh, yeah. We gotta look at the red lights and make sure we can get through. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Watch out the way. <laughs> We're getting there. <laughs> we got to get through the city a little bit. <laughs> now we're on the interstate. <laughs> we got to get off right here. And we're going to turn a little bit. Oh, yeah, around this curve. Watch out, folks. We're going to an emergency. Oh, being a firefighter is so awesome. Oh, yeah. I think we're almost there. Oh, let's see. Yep, yep, we got to turn right here. Oh, 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 yes. Here we go. Oh, it looks like it was a car accident. All right, so now we're here. We got to get out and take care of the emergency. Come on, let's go. Oh. Wow, that was awesome. <laughs> oh. Have you ever wondered where fire trucks actually get their water from? It's from fire hydrants. Check this out. Oh, yep. You can even see the inside of this one. Look at it. It's really cool. There's water and pipes down below in the ground. And this is where the water comes from. And of course, firefighters got to have some really, really cool tools. Check those out. To actually open and close the fire hydrant. And then they've got these really cool hoses and attached to the back of the fire truck. Oh, that's where they get their water from. And then they have these really cool valves oh, that open and close. Oh, yep. Yeah. So they gotta know what they're doing and they got some really cool tools to work with it. Isn't that awesome? Oh, wow. Isn't this place really interesting? They've got all kinds of really cool information about fire trucks and how they work. Like this is called water on wheels. Oh, it tells you about how the water goes from inside the truck and it pumps it out through the hoses. Oh, check this out. Look at all these hoses. Oh, we've got a big hose here. Oh, wow. Oh, we've got a medium-sized hose. Oh, and then even a small one. Oh, isn't that great? Oh, and they actually tell and simulate how many pounds of pressure that each hose has. And this one has 300 pounds of pressure. Oh, that's a lot. Let's see. Let's see if I can hold it. Oh, oh see? Oh, wow. Oh. Oh, you gotta be really, really strong to hold that hose. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. Oh, and the middle one here, let's see. This is 175 pounds. Oh, oh, I think I got that. That's easy there. Oh, yeah. And then, the last one, it's 50 pounds. Oh, I think you probably could do this one. Oh, yeah. Check that out. Oh, but still, you gotta have a little bit of strength to hold on to those hoses. Oh. Do you remember that time whenever I got to use one of these? Wasn't that great? It was totally awesome. Oh, yeah. How cool is this? Oh, that's so awesome. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, we're doing such an awesome job. We're putting this fire out real quick. Oh, cool. Look at this fire truck, come here. Oh, and look at this firefighter. Oh, wonder if he's got anything important to say. Let's see. I gotta tell you, being a firefighter is not for everyone. 
It takes a lot of physical strength, courage, and the ability to make split-second decisions work together as a team. There are many jobs that take this kind of commitment, but you know, I wouldn't dream of doing anything else. Being a firefighter is one of the most dangerous jobs there is, and occasionally it means risking your life for someone you don't even know. Come see us anytime, and please, bring your family and friends. Wow, that was some really important information. You know, it takes a lot of dedication to be a firefighter. Oh, that's great. Oh, wow, look at this. This is the ladder on the back of a ladder truck. Oh, and the firefighter stands right there, and he sprays water right out of that nozzle. That's a big nozzle. Oh, doesn't fire trucks have some of the coolest parts? Have you ever wondered about those parts before? Oh, we can learn about them right here. Check this out. Oh, yeah, this is a really cool fire truck. Well, let's see what we can learn about. Oh, I wonder what this is. It's like where all the gauges and stuff are. Let's see. The water inlet oh. is where the water is sucked into the fire engine through a supply hose, usually connected to oh, look, a fire hydrant it's a fire or some hydrant. other water source, such as a pond. Although fire engines carry a supply of water on board, larger fires usually require additional water. Oh, wow, that was really cool. That was really interesting. Oh, wait, let's see what else. Oh, we can see. oh, look, I can see the engine in there. Can you see that? Oh, let's see if it has one for that. Oh, it does. Look right here. Oh, here it goes. The engine has to be yeah. durable, powerful, and most of all, reliable at all times, even in the coldest weather. The oh, diesel wow. engine in this truck powers the vehicle, runs the pump, and generates electric power for the lights and rescue equipment. Oh, that's really cool. Oh, let's see. What else? Let's see if we can find one more. Oh, there's a compartment right here. Let's find out what happened right there. Look, right there. Let's push that button there. Let's see. Tool compartment. Oh, on a fire is there tools? Spare entry tools? Oh, we love tools. Air supply packs, lights, and extra protective gear. Virtually anything that a firefighter might need in a fire or emergency. Oh, wow. <laughs> of course, firefighters have to have tools too, right? Oh, that's great. Well, let's see what else we can find to do. Come on, let's go. Oh, look at this. This is a firefighter's protective gear. It's their outerwear that helps them from, protect them from the fire. Okay, we've got our jacket. Oh, that's really, really cool. It's kind of heavy though. Oh, and then we got our flash hood. Check that out. It's like a mask almost. It goes on our head up underneath our helmet for, to protect our head and our neck from all of the heat and the fire. Oh, we've got our pants. Look at those, those are cool. Oh, and of course we gotta have our gloves to protect our hands from the fire too. Yep, and our boots. Oh, those are really cool. You actually can see the inside of it, that's cool. Oh, let's see what else we got. Of course, we gotta have a firefighter's flashlight. Oh, and an ax, <laughs> that's cool. Oh, and then this really cool thing, this is called a self-contained breathing apparatus. Oh, it helps us breathe when we're inside of a house where there's smoke, it's really cool. But have you ever wondered how much all this stuff weighs? <laughs> well, this is a weight simulator. <laughs> Did you know that all of this stuff weighs close to 100 pounds? You think I can lift it? We gotta lift this, we gotta pull on this rope to see if we can lift all this weight, you see? Let's see. Oh, that's about 40, 45. Oh, oof. it's tough. Oh, let's see, try it one more time. Oh, we almost got there. Oh, that went up to 65. Whew, gotta really use some muscles for this. Let's see here. Let's see if I can do it. Oh wow, there it went. <laughs> I lifted it up. <laughs> that was great. It's really heavy. That's a lot of equipment. Oh wow. Look at this. This is a fire truck. Oh, it's really cool. Did you know this was made in 1912? Oh wow, that was a long time ago. Oh, you know this is called a Metropolitan Steamer. Oh, and that this engine was pulled by horses. Oh, and the driver would sit up top there and hold on to the reins. Oh, and they'd go to a fire. How cool is that? Oh, look. Look at the big tank. That's where the water goes. That's really interesting. Oh, and look, you can see the bell. Oh, yeah. 
It's like they're they're ringing and coming down the road. Watch out the way, there's a fire, we gotta go. Oh, and then look at the huge hose right there. Isn't that cool? Oh, I bet you this was awesome. Going to the rescue to put out a fire. Oh, that'd be really cool. Oh, wow. Look at this. This is really important. This teaches us the importance of dialing 911, but only in an emergency. Oh, like a fire. Now, of course, if there's no emergency, we don't need to call 911, right? Only if there is an emergency. Like, you pick up the phone and you dial 911. Do you know what happens? Check this out. Look, you get sent to a 911 operator. Yep. And she takes out all the information of what's going on with the emergency. Like if it's a fire, like where the fire is located, uh, what street it's on, or how bad it is, if there's people in the house. She gets all that information. And then you know what she does? She picks up the phone oh, and she calls a dispatcher, right? Oh yeah. And the dispatcher is actually the one that gets in contact by radio to the fire station. Oh, isn't that cool? Oh, yep. So they call the fire station, and then of course the firefighters, they radio back and they communicate about all the information, like the address, yeah, and what's going on, how bad it is. And then the firefighters hop in their truck. Oh, this is the cool part. And they get their turn on their lights, oh, and they flash, and they got big sirens to help them go down the road really fast uh -huh. and to get to the fire really fast, right? Because it's an emergency. It's great. Oh, and look, they've even got a time. I wonder how fast it takes them to get from the phone call all the way to the to the emergency. Oh, let's find out. Are you ready? Come on. Oh, can you hear it ringing? Oh, yeah. Is she there? Oh, oh, oh yeah. Oh, look, the timer started. Oh. Let's see how long it takes. Oh wow, look, it took them a little over four minutes to get to the site, to get to the emergency. Oh, that's really fast. Oh, must be really cool to be a firefighter. Good job, firefighters. Here you go. Oh. Do you know firefighters have some really cool uniforms and equipment that they use? I got jackets. Oh, and look, they have boots. Check those out. Those are cool. Yep. Oh, oh, and got some really cool helmets. Oh, look at this one. This one is called a Euro helmet. Oh, look at that. That one looks almost kind of like a motorcycle helmet. Oh, got that one. Oh, and then we've got this kind. This is like a traditional one. Oh, oh, oh look at that. It's pretty cool. Oh, and one of these. This one. It's like a leather one. Oh, look at this one. That was really cool. Kind of bent up in the back. Oh, and look at the metal plate on the front. That was really cool. <laughs> All right, so got that in there. Now we just got to get everybody's jacket hung up in their locker. Let's do that real quick. Come on. It's been awesome. I've had an amazing time. You've learned a lot about fire safety? Yeah, of course. And you've helped us a lot around the station. Oh, yeah. So, we have this nice fire helmet oh, for wow. you. Check that out. It's like my own very own fire helmet. Oh, that's great. We also have this patch we'd like to oh, present you. Wow, that's really cool. Oh, that looks like the one on your arm. It does. Oh, that's great. And we have a bracelet for you. Oh. This Clarence and Fire Rescue. Oh, that's amazing. <laughs> well, thank you, guys. <laughs> It's been an amazing day today. Ooh, well, thanks for watching Any Man How. We'll see you later. <laughs>
All the firefighters in the fire station are awaiting clear communication because we just got a call. Grab the gear off the wall, no time for long deliberation. We got a fire and we gotta put it out. That's what firefighting's all about. So we get in the truck and we turn the siren up and it's off to the next destination. to go to school so they can learn all the safety rules and when they're in the know into the truck and off they go firefighter what a cool vocation we got a fire and we gotta put it out put it out that's what firefighting's all about all about so we get in the truck and we turn the siren up and it's off to the next destination Put the fire in termination We got a fire and we gotta put it out Put it out That's what firefighting's all about All about So we get in the truck and we turn the siren up And it's off to the next destination We got a fire and we gotta put it out Put it out That's what firefighting's all about All about So we get in the truck and we turn the siren up And it's off to the next destination Destination. Let's go. We got a fire and we gotta put it out. Put it out. That's what firefighting's all about. All about. So we get in the truck and we turn the siren up and it's off to the next destination. Awesome. So we get in the truck and we turn the siren up and it's off to the next destination. Awesome. We're gonna 
gonna need all of your handy tools Handy man Hal, I got a job for you Can you help me? Handy man Hal, I got a job for you You're gonna fix it cause that's what you do My car is so dirty it needs a clean But the water won't go through the car wash machine was that? Now we gotta fill the truck back up with some water. We got it hooked up to the fire hydrant. But now we got Captain here. He's gonna show us exactly how to do it. How do we do it? Come on. All right, now we've got the fire out. Here's what we gotta do. We're gonna take this plug off of this cap. Okay. Hang that in. Bring up the hose. Make your connection. Open your valve up and look to the guy and tell him to crank up the hydrant. That oh, way he knows to awesome. go ahead and turn the water on. It's filling up with water. How cool is that? And here it goes. This is a fire hydrant. This is where the firefighters get to supply their water for the truck. How awesome is that? All right, Captain. How, how much water does it hold? How much water can we put in here? This truck holds 1,200 gallons of water. What? That's 1,200 gallons of water? That's a lot of water, right? Put out a lot of fires. This is what tells whether or not how much water is in the tank. And it looks like, well, it's full. So now we get to shut it off just by this lever. Ready? There it is. We're good to go. Now we get to learn about these really cool fire trucks. It's gonna be awesome. Look at it. It's all nice and bright and red. Oh, right. We're here at the King Street Fire Department. Look at there. That's nice and pretty. It's gold and it's black. Those are pretty cool. Yep. All right, let's see. Well, this is called a ladder truck, right? It's a ladder. And this is engine number 34. Can you say that? 34. Awesome. All right, well, let's see what else we got on here. Oh, look at this. This looks really awesome. We've got these little controls here. These are what you call valves. Yep, it operates the pump inside that gets the water from inside the tank to the end of the hose. That's really, really cool. Look at all those cool little lights. Got some green lights there, some orange lights. Oh, and even these little buttons here, these are cool. We got a red button, we got a blue button, an orange button, green button, and some yellow buttons. Those are awesome. This is really cool. That's how it actually works, right? That's amazing. Well, look, we got all these cool compartments. Let's see what's inside. Let's lift up those little levers. Oh, wow. Look at all this cool stuff in here. We got our hoses, and then they're all nice and rolled up, so whenever the firefighters get to the fire, you just pull them out with ease. That is so awesome. Oh, check this out. This is pretty cool. Oh, yeah. Look at all these cool tools. We got an ax. Oh, that's for chopping in a door. Maybe in a roof, got a sledgehammer. That's pretty awesome. Oh, let's see what else we got. Oh, check these out. These are really, really cool. Oh yeah, I wonder what we can break. Snap with those, right? Oh, those are cool. Oh, there it is. Let's see what else we got, come on. Oh, check this out. This is really cool. We got a little lever right here. Pull it out, pull these out. Oh yeah. Let's see where these take us. Oh yeah. Oh, right up here. Oh, this is really cool up here. This is where the ladder is. They would use this to like get up on top of a house or to get on top of a fire. Let's 
This is the controls for this ladder. This is so awesome, right? I can crawl right out there and go right up so, so high. That's really awesome. Look at these controls. We got these little knobs here. It goes up and down. Got these buttons. Got a red emergency button there. I bet that takes it right on up, lets it go out. Those are really, really cool, right? Yeah. Guess what, guys? We're on top of a fire truck. How cool is that? Let's climb down. That was awesome. All right, let's get these ladders back in here. Of course, you don't want nobody to trip on them, right? There we go, just like that. Pull that lever, latch it down. That was pretty awesome, right? Well, come on, let's see what else we got. Oh, let's check out what's in here. Oh, yeah. Of course, it's a ladder truck, so we gotta have lots and lots of ladders, right? Oh, wow. Look at that. That's what they use to crawl up on top of a house with. Those are pretty cool. And they've got one, two, three, four ladders back here. That's awesome. Check out this really cool thing. Oh, this looks like a weapon of some sort, right? That's pretty cool. It's got a little hook, a little pointy piece right there. That's awesome. Slide that back in there. That's cool. Right in there. And it latches so it's safe right there so it doesn't come falling out. Let's see what else we got. Check this out. This is really cool. Right up under this red flap is the big hose. It's nice, bright, and yellow. Of course, I tell everybody to get out of the way, right? Be cautious. That is a huge hose. That's the big hose that brings the big amount of water to the fire. Those are really awesome, right? All right, let's close that back. Put these latches back on. There's one latch and there's two latches. Nice. All right, look at this one. We got a compartment right here. Let's see what's in here. Oh, wow. That's a cool little generator type thing. And oh, look at this saw. The sharp blade that maybe cuts through through a door or through some walls or something. That's really cool. That's awesome. Let's close that back. Let's see what else we got. Oh, right down here. Check this one out. What's in here? Oh, wow. It's a chainsaw. Firefighters might even use a, a chainsaw to cut into the top of a roof to save somebody or to cut into the roof to let some smoke out. Those are really cool, right? Awesome. Let's shut this one. Let's keep on going. Let's see what else we got. Oh, wow. Look at these massive wheels. Those are really cool. Those are big. Those are almost as big as me. Those are really cool. Nice and shiny. Those are awesome. Those are awesome. All right, cool. Check out the front of this truck. We got the lights, the safety lights. Way up there, that's the ladder, and that's where the water comes out. That's the hose. That's really awesome right there, right? Yeah. Check this out. This, this is the siren. This is the noise that it makes whenever it's coming down the road. When you see a fire truck down the road and it's making those loud noises, this is where it comes from. That's really cool, right? Yeah. Well, let's check out the inside. Awesome. Open this up. Oh, wow. This is really, really cool. Let me crawl up here. <laughs> oh, yeah. First off, we got some switches up here. This is what operates all the safety lights. Let's see, let's try it out. Oh yeah, check that out. We got all these nice bright red lights. That's so awesome, right? Oh yeah, that's awesome. It's a really, really cool part. It's down here at the bottom, there's these two pedals. That one there and that one there. That's the horn and the siren. Let's try it out. You ready? Oh yeah, that's awesome. How about the siren? Let me try that. Oh, yeah. That's really loud, right? But of course, they gotta be loud so people can get out of the way, right?
such a fun day so far. But I'm here with Captain Matthews. What's going on, Captain Matthews? Hey, How you doing? I'm doing well. Oh, fantastic. So, pretty cool guy right here. So tell us, what's maybe a few safety tips or something that we might need to tell the kids at home about fire safety? One, always have a fire escape plan. And two, get out and stay out. Oh yeah, for real. Of course, if your house is on fire, you need to get out. And of course, stay out. That's pretty That's cool, right. right? Well, we've got all this really cool gear out here, man. So this is really cool. So let's see, what is this right here? We got this little cool thing. Well, I think I might know what this is, but what is this? This is our coat that we wear with our burker gear or our turnout gear, as it's called. It helps to protect us from this water, the steam, and the fire of a house fire. Oh park. yeah, this is what I wore earlier in that fire we did earlier. That's right. Pretty heavy, but yeah, it's safety, right? Oh, then we got some gloves here, right? Yep. That's pretty cool, right? Anything special about these? Just a good leather glove that is insulated to help protect our hands as well from the heat. That's awesome, and of course we got this right here. I like the one I wore earlier. This is the helmet, right? Anything special about these? No, nope, they're just a good old fashioned helmet that we wear that has built in uh, safety glasses oh, that you push see. on your, there oh, you go, just yeah. like that. That's really cool. Can you see me in there? Those are awesome. Oh, what are these right here? Oh, well, this right here. What's this? That's pretty cool. That's our flash hood. That's what we put on to help protect our neck and our ears from the heat and steam whenever we're fighting fires. Oh, that's pretty cool. It's like a Halloween mask or something, right? Just that's about. Pretty awesome, right? And what we got here? It's like boots or something, right? That's right. Those are our boots and our pants with our ladder harnesses that are built into oh, them. Oh, that's cool. That's pretty heavy though, right? It is. It's really, really heavy, man. Some cool boots, right? Awesome. Yeah. I like those. Well, we've got all this gear here. What I heard is my friend here can put it on in less than two minutes. Yeah. How about that? So who we got? I have with me engineer Greg Ward. All right, Mr. Greg, come on. So this is what we're gonna do. Let's see if we can get this on in two minutes. So you get your stuff set up the way you want to. And while he's doing that, if we can get two minutes set on the clock, oh, this is gonna be awesome. Let's see if we can get this done in two minutes or less. This is gonna be really, really awesome. All right, are you ready? Ready. All right, on your mark. We got it, get set, and go. Oh yeah, so he's gonna take off his shoes first. Oh, that's cool. All right, put on his little helmet. Looks like, looks like a Halloween mask. Puts his boots on, that's cool. Slides up his pants. Oh, he's getting there, he's getting there. He's got some really cool suspenders. Oh, he's almost there, he's almost there. He's almost there. Yep, oh, he's got his jacket. Put his jacket on. Oh, we're at around maybe a minute now. I don't know. Oh, let's see what the clock says. All right, yeah, we got about 26 seconds in. Oh, yeah, he's gonna do it. He's gonna do it. Oh, let's see what's left. Oh, he's got his oxygen. Oh, yeah, look at there. Oh, he's so quick. Oh, yeah. Tighten those straps up. Yep. He's got a few little latches and strap. Oh yeah, no, no, almost there. He's gotta put his oxygen mask on, tighten it up. Put that mask over his head. Oh, he's almost there. Oh, not even a minute yet. Oh yeah, helmet, latch that up. Oh, and then, oh, 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 it's a bell. Oh yeah, let's see, where we at? Oh, we're at a minute and eight, nine seconds. Oh, he's almost there. Just got a couple more things to put on. Got his glove on. That second clock, almost there. Almost there. And a minute and 20 stop that clock. And we're at a minute and 20 some odd seconds. Yeah, that's awesome. Good job. What kind of one do we got here? It looks like some kind of face mask. It looks like some kind of Halloween mask. What yeah, it got? does. All right, what we have right here, this is our mask that goes to our SCBAs that when you press this button, it allows them to have fresh, clean oh, air that comes wow. out of the cylinder in the back. You called it oxygen earlier. Nope, oh, it's only just man. purified air that comes out of an air compressor. And we can pick that up, and that way he can just breathe regular outside air when he's not working or on the job. That's awesome. He has his alarm right here, that it has a speaker built into it, and it shows how much air pressure he has in his cylinder. Awesome. So this is very important whenever we're in a fire and working. Yeah, right. You gotta breathe whenever there's a cold kind of smoke out there. That's right, right that's, that's right. Awesome. Just a
wants all kinds of tools Which one will Handyman Hal use? He's got a plan for today We're gonna laugh, dance, have fun and play Need to hang something on the wall Hammer and nail is your best call But if it's real heavy and they just won't do This drill will do the job for you Handyman Hal Having fun today You're awesome As he would say We're not done just begun, we're gonna go to the aquarium. Sea turtles are on parade, and we're gonna feed those awesome stingrays. Penguins for the win, when I see them can't help but grin. Fun, fun for everyone, all day long at the aquarium. Handyman Hal, having fun today. You're awesome, as he would say. Guaranteed to hit the mark, bouncing at the trampoline park We gotta be safe and super careful, cause this place is so delightful Be sure you don't fall, when you're climbing the rock wall Trust me, you will be just fine, zooming past pass on the zip line. Handyman Hal, having fun today You're awesome, as he would say Come quickly to the playground We can play all day And hear that awesome sound Happy children laughing all around Ready, set, and off we go Go car racing, don't you know We gotta go fast, can I take it slow? Can you keep up when we go turbo? There it is, the finish line Victory is almost mine First place, awesome feeling fine my gold medal shine on some handyman how having fun today you're awesome as he would say handyman how having fun today you're awesome as he would say Oh, hey my friends, it's me Andy Man Hal. Hope you're doing absolutely awesome today. Check it out, we're cleaning out the garage today. It's gonna be so much fun. Oh look, what is this? Oh, it's a package outside. Oh, looks like we got a delivery from me. Oh. I don't know what it is. Come on. Let's find out what this is. Oh, we need a box opener. Oh, here we go. Let's see here. I know there's one over here somewhere. Oh, oh. Huh. Let's see. Oh. <laughs> oh, screwdriver. Let's see. It's in here somewhere. Oh, here we go. Got it. Come on. Oh yes, can't wait to see what's inside this. Oh, now, if you ever use a box opener, be really, really careful, because it's really sharp. Always make sure that there's an adult with you. All right, so we're gonna do one right here. Oh, yep, gonna do some on this side. There we go. And on this side here, there we go. Oh, that's really sharp. Close it back. Oh, let's see, what is this? Oh, I know what this is. Oh, I couldn't wait till this got in. Oh, this is gonna be great. Come on. <laughs> oh All my friends, do you know what this is? This is a wind dancer, and they're extremely exciting and a lot of fun. Starts out with the base just like this right here. And inside, 
There's a fan, <laughs> and it's operated by a powerful motor that shoots air up into the wind dancer. Oh, well, let's see, we've got it plugged up. Let's test it out. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, 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 oh. Woo. Oh, it works perfectly. Oh, so then what we do is we actually take the wind dancer, oh, and this is it, and they're really, really long. Oh, and we have to attach it to the base. And it has Velcro on it. So Velcro on the inside and Velcro on the outside part of it. <laughs> so what we do is we take the wind dancer and we attach it to this gigantic fan. Yeah. We gotta get it on nice and good and secure. That way it doesn't come off whenever the fan's on. Oh, there we go. Can you hear the Velcro? Yep. There we go. Nice and tight and snug there. Let's see. Uh, almost, almost. Perfect. <laughs> I think we got it on there perfectly now. Now this wind dancer, I had customized just for me. <laughs> and I can't wait for you to see it. Well, let's turn it on. There we go. Wow! Look! <laughs> it's me! <laughs> it's a handyman how wind dancer! Whoa! <laughs> this is totally awesome! <laughs> He's totally awesome! <laughs> oh yeah! Woo! <laughs> this is awesome! Oh look! He's even got his tool belt on! He's got his screwdrivers! He's got his hammer! A wrench! Oh. It's great, he's got a safety vest on <laughs> and his hard hat. <laughs> this is great. Woo. Let's turn it off. <laughs> oh, wow. This is great. Oh, it's a wind dancing handyman hell. It's absolutely awesome. Oh, and I'm so glad it came just in time. And I'm glad you got to see it too. <laughs> well, we might need to get back to cleaning the garage. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Oh, let's see, where should we start? Oh, there's so much stuff in here. How about this? <laughs> this box right here. Look. <laughs> it's even got an H on it for Handyman Hell. It does have some pretty awesome stuff inside. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Look at this stuff. Oh, that's cool. I like that. Oh, look at this. <laughs> These are cool. Look. The little rubber duckies. <laughs> we got all kinds in here. Oh, look, that one is like a pirate. Oh, it's got its little pirate hat on. Oh, are you looking for some treasure? <laughs> oh, that's great. Oh, here's one. Look, it's even got a surfboard on it. It's got his sunglasses on. It's probably going to the beach. Oh, it is a nice day. Maybe we could go to the beach today. Oh, that's great. Oh, look at this one. It's a pink one. It looks like it's got some whipped cream or maybe a cherry on top. Or maybe it's like a cherry sundae <laughs> with strawberry ice cream. Oh, that's great. Oh, there's a blue one here. Oh, it's got blue stripes on it. Oh, that's great. Hey, Mr. Ducky. Oh, and we got one more. Look, it's a superhero. Oh, he's got his blue mask on and he's got a blue cape. Oh, super Ducky to the rescue. Oh, you know what? These remind me of the time that we got to work with the dunk tank. Oh, oh, do you remember that? We had so much fun. We got it all set up. And then we got to get in it. Oh, Handyman Hal and the rubber duckies got to get into the dunk tank. It was awesome. Wow, check it out. Don't it look amazing? Oh, we're all set, ready to go. It's missing something. Oh, the water. We gotta get the water in it. But first, we really need to make sure that it's nice and tight so no water leaks out, come on. Oh, let's see, got some really cool tools here. Got our socket wrench. Let's make sure all of these bolts are tight and ready to go. 
Oh, yeah, there we go. We don't want no water to leak out. There we go. A couple more, one right there, and one right here. Ah, oh, now, let's make sure it's good and level. Let's see, can you see the bubble? Is it in between it? Let's see, oh yeah, <laughs> we're good to go. Let's go get the water in, come on, let's go. Oh wow, well, we got our water hose, and it's orange, <laughs> one of my favorite colors. And of course, it had to be a really long hose. Go from all the way over there to all the way over here. Oh, and we're gonna fill this up. <laughs> oh, that's a great idea. Oh, look, <laughs> the rubber duckies. We can put them in there, and whenever they get up to about like right there, we'll be ready to go. Oh, there they go. <laughs> this is gonna be great. <laughs> no, no, I haven't asked them yet. Yeah, I'm about to, don't worry, don't worry. Hey, Handyman, how's it oh, going? Oh, it's great. We're all set. Oh, it looks Filling great it in there. I've got some bad news, though. Oh, no. Yeah, the person that was supposed to be in the dunk tank, you know the person that falls in? Yeah. Unfortunately, they're not going to be able to make it today. And oh, no. And we don't have anybody to cover. I was hoping, would you maybe want to be the person to get dunked? Well, I did have a lot of other handy things I needed to do today. But you can tell. It's really hot out here. Oh, I'm in. Let's do it. Wait, you're a lifesaver. Yeah. Thank you so much. You're probably going to need a lifesaver by the end of this. Thank you. Oh, check it out, my friends. Oh. We've got a full tank. And look, the rubber duckies are up top, so it's ready to go. Oh, it's a little chilly. I guess we gotta do it for the campers. All right, let's go. All right, my friends, <laughs> we're all set and ready to go. This water is a little chilly, and we got our campers lined up. <laughs> Here we go, let's go. Here we go. Oh, oh, no, 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 not yet. Come on. Oh, oh. Let me get back up here. Ugh, oh, this is a lot. There we go. Oh, that's better. Oh. You call that a throw? What are you aiming at? You know, Robert Lucky, those kids, they had some pretty good aim, right? <laughs> oh, yeah. Right, let's see here. Right, let's see here. This way, 27 and a half. That's good. Let's see. Let's check this side. Oh, right there. 41. I think this is going to be perfect. Oh, hey, my friends. This is me, Handyman Al. 
I hope you're doing absolutely awesome today. Can you guess where we're working at? We're at the movie theaters today and we're installing their movie posters in this movie poster cabinet. It's correct. We've got our tape measure and we're measuring to make sure that we have the right poster. <laughs> All right, so I think we're good to go. We'll put our tape measure on our side there. Well, let's get this poster. Oh, let's see here. Oh, look, a tool story. It's really cool. Looks like it's gonna be an animated feature. Mm -hmm. You know, I really do like tools. Maybe I might need to watch this one. Hmm. Right, let's get this in over my head. Here we go. I've got to slide it right behind this plastic film here. Whoa, 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 whoa. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. Oh, oh. Have you ever been to the movie theaters before? Oh. Coming to the movies is so much fun. What's your favorite part? Oh, like maybe the popcorn? Oh, that's great. Oh, no, I know. It's all of the candies. Oh, yeah. Nope. It's the big screen. You know, watching a movie on the big screen is amazing. Oh, yeah. Let's get this in here now. Oh, 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 oh. Make sure it looks good. Gotta get it in there perfectly, right where it needs to be. Oh, okay, yeah. Ooh. Aren't these cabinets really awesome? They've got lights behind them that really brighten up the poster. Uh -huh. That way you can see it really well. Uh, all right, so we got that in there. All right, and now we get to close this up here. Oh, that's perfect. Okay, got a key here that we actually can lock it. There we go. That's the bottom one. Now, let's get the top one here. Let's see here. Oh, there it is. Oh, that's perfect. Oh, one last final touch. Oh, make it all nice and shiny and pretty. <laughs> oh, that looks great. Now we got one more. Come on, let's go over here. <laughs> oh, yep. Let's see, let's stick our key right here in the lock to keep it there. Oh, let's see this movie poster. Let's see. Oh, wow. Oh, Jurassic Water Park. Oh, and look, it's got a dinosaur on it. It's a T-Rex. <laughs> That's great. Let's get this poster in here over my head and slide it right behind that plastic film there. Hey, easy does it. Easy does it. Oh, yes. Oh. <laughs> you know what another great thing about coming to the movies is? You can actually bring your friends and your family. Watching a movie with your friends is so much fun. Oh, let's see. Get that in there. Oh, I think we're good. Oh, look. This dinosaur's got floaties on. <laughs> That's great. Oh, all right, let's close this up here. Oh, oh, that's perfect. That looks great. All right, let's lock it in place. All right. All right, and the final touch. <laughs> And make it look really nice. Oh, yes. Oh, I think everyone's gonna really enjoy this movie. <laughs> all right, we got that all set. Now, let's do see what else we can do. Come on, let's go. Oh, oh, oh. One of my favorite things in the movies is popcorn. Oh, and we're behind the scenes. And we're gonna learn how the popcorn is made. Check this out. This is a humongous popcorn machine. We've got our kettle there. Oh, it's warming up. And you can see the auger inside, the spinning around. Oh, this is gonna be great. All kinds of cool switches here. We've got a power, we've got the heat, we've got the kettle motor, and a really special button for some oil at the top. Come on, let's get our kernels. Let's get our scoop. <laughs> here we go. Wow, look. That's a lot of corn kernels. Might need to fill this up just a little bit more. It might be a busy day. Sit that right there. Oh, we got our bag here. Oh, here we go. Get our rope here. Let's see if we can get this. Oh, there it is. Oh, check that out. Oh, wow. That's a lot of corn kernels. Oh, all right. Oh, a little bit more. I think we got them all. all right, 
right there. All right, let's get our scoop. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I think this is gonna make a lot of popcorn. Let's see. Oh, we need this right here. Look at this. This is butter salt. Oh, that's amazing. All right, let's see. We're gonna get that. We're gonna dump that right on the top there. Oh, this is what gives the popcorn all of its really good flavor. Oh, so we got that. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna push this red button. What it's gonna do, it's gonna shoot out some oil for inside the kettle. Right, are we ready? Here we go. We'll push it one time. Oh, look, check it out. There it goes. <laughs> All right, let's let that finish. Oh, yes. It looks awesome. Can you see it filling up? <laughs> oh, yes. Getting all kinds of oil in there. And now, let's dump our kernels in. Oh, yes. Oh, that's great. <laughs> all right, it's in there and it's cooking. It's spinning around. Let's close our lid. Oh, yes. This is gonna be great. Oh. Here it is. <laughs> you know that popcorn is the number one item that people get when they come to the movies? Oh, I cannot wait. Oh. <laughs> oh, I can hear it starting. Can you see it? Oh, 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 yeah. Oh, wow. Do you know that kernels, each one of those kernels has moisture on the inside. And when it gets heated up, there's no place for that moisture to go. And it bursts the kernel open. And that's where we get our popcorn from. <laughs> oh, yep. It's coming. When it gets to a certain point, What's gonna happen? Is the lid's gonna open by itself? You can see it, see? And then it's all gonna dump out into the bin. <laughs> Here it goes. <laughs> oh, that looks amazing. Look at all of that popcorn. <laughs> oh, and it looks like it's got a lot of butter on it. <laughs> Ooh, it smells so good. Oh, yes. Nice fresh pop popcorn. <laughs> look at it. Doesn't it look great? <laughs> oh. Whoa, whoa. Can you hear it popping? Oh, that's great. Whoa. Wow, whoa, whoa, whoa! We've got popcorn going everywhere. Oh, whoa, whoa! Oh, here we go. Oh, oh! Oh, wow, look at that. That's great. <laughs> oh, wow. All right, let's see. We can spread it all around. Get it all nice and mixed up. Oh, yes. Can you hear that? That's all of the unbought kernels that are falling through the grates in this bin. <laughs> you see the grate right there? Yep. Oh, so we've got to spread it all around. This is great. Look how amazing this popcorn looks. <laughs> oh, yes. Now we've got all our popcorn in our bin. Now we need to move it to the front to the walls. And this is how we do it. We've got this amazing, really cool bag. It's kind of yellow, like popcorn. All right, so we're gonna take this bag and we're gonna slide it right underneath this little chute right here. And there's a door. Check this out. You can fit that to the side. And then we used to scrape it into the bag. Check this out. Oh, yes. That's a lot of popcorn. Get in there. I'll shake it down in there some. Perfect. Right, let's get some more. 
Ooh. I think we're gonna have a lot of satisfied customers tonight. <laughs> oh yes. All right. I think. Oh, I think we're good. <laughs> we don't want to lose any. Stay in there. Stay in there. Oh. And now. Whoa, whoa. We just gotta take it up front to the warmer. Come on. Let's go. <laughs> Ooh, do, do, do. Oh. Come on. <laughs> oh, check this out. This is where they keep the popcorn nice and warm for the customers. This is the warming bin. Oh, wow, look at all of this delicious popcorn. Oh, yeah. All right, get it all nice and spread out in there. All right, there we go. Oh, yeah. And then we have these popcorn buckets. Oh, well, maybe. Maybe we should get some set up and ready to go for tonight. Okay, come on. Let's just scoop it in there just like that right there. Well, that's perfect. Look at that. Oh, so we'll take it and we'll slide it right inside of there. Or oh, maybe we'll do one more. All right. Oh, yes. Oh, this is great. All right, we'll put it on this side. Oh, that's amazing. Well, I think we gotta go get some more popcorn. Let's go. Now, we get to go even farther behind the scenes. Do you know what's behind this door? The projection! Yep, that's where all of the projectors are kept for all of the theaters. Come on, let's go. This is gonna be great. Oh, whoa, It's a lot of steps. I guess we've gotta be way up here. Oh, yep, oh, this is exciting. Oh, there's even more steps. Let's go. <laughs> oh yeah. Do, 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 do. We made it to the top. Oh, and look at this room. This is amazing. Can you see back there? Can you see all of the projectors for all of the different theaters? Oh, and look, this is projector number nine for theater number nine. <laughs> and right here, look. This is projector number 14 for the theater. Look, look where we're at. <laughs> you can see the theater. Oh, that's great. You know, this one particular theater holds 300 people. That's a lot. Have you ever been sitting in a movie and watching a movie? And you ever looked behind you and seen the light coming out of the window? What's coming from this A projector? This is what actually projects the movie onto the screen. <laughs> it's got a really special lens right here. You can see the light on my hand. Oh, that's great. Then that actually projects the movie onto the screen. Come here. And this projector is all run by a computer. It's all digital. So all I have to do is press the play button right there and it starts the movie. <laughs> that's great. Look right here. This, this is where they actually load the movies. <laughs> it's really, really cool. All right, let's close that back. But you know, what's really important when it comes to movies is the sound. Because we've got some really cool music. We've got some really cool sound effects. They've got to be really good at that. Come on. Look, this is the sound rack. We have all different kinds of speakers. There's main speakers, there's surround speakers. There's even a subwoofer speaker. <laughs> we gotta make sure that the sound is just right. And that's what we use. <laughs> this is really, really cool. Look at this. This right here on the top of the projector. This is an exhaust vent. Because inside, in order to get the movie on the screen, there's gotta be a really bright light in there. And there's a bulb. Check this out. <laughs> there's a bulb on the inside. Look at this. This light bulb is over 6,500 watts. Oh, that's really bright. And it's inside of the projector and it gets really, really, really hot. So you gotta make sure that it stays cool. And that's what the exhaust vent there is for. <laughs> oh, let's put this back because we don't want it to break. Right in there. 
just like that. Oh, oh wow. Well, I guess it's time for the movie. Let's turn off the house lights. Uh -huh. There we go. And let's hit the play button. Ooh. All right, come on, let's see it. Oh, wow. That's awesome. <laughs> Yep, yep. Looks like everything's running smoothly. I can see the movie. I can hear it. Oh, it's great. Do you know, before movies were digital, like this right here, check this out. They were actually made on this right here. Look, this is what you call film. This is 35 millimeter film. And can you see the frame right there? Oh, that's one, one frame. And you would need 24 of those to make one second of a movie. Oh, that's a lot. Oh, and so what they would do is they would take this film, right? And they would put it on these right here. This is a reel, right? It would wrap around and around and the projectors would actually spin them and pull the film through the light. Oh, and they would go really, really fast because you got to go through 24 of those in one second. And that's how they made movies. <laughs> that's really, really awesome. It's a lot of film. Oh, yes. <laughs> We're having such an awesome time at the movie theater. We're getting things ready for our customers at the concession stands here. Oh, yeah. Well, that's perfect. All right, take it. Let's sit it in here. You know, there's so many different things that you can get whenever you come to the movies. Like popcorn, there's all kinds of candies. And one favorite for a lot of my friends is a kid's tray. Oh, let me show you what's in that. Got some popcorn here. Put a little bit in there for them. Oh, that's perfect. All right, so, oh, let's close this back. Just like that right there. Perfect. Now, oh, they need some candy. Let's see here. Oh, wow. Look at all of that candy. Not what I'm looking for. Let's see. Mm, oh, there's even more candy. Oh, not what I'm looking for. Let's see. Wow, there's even more candy. Oh, this is what I need. Oh, okay, so that goes in there just like that. Well, that's perfect. Oh, now we need a drink. Oh, so, we need a cup. Mm -hmm. We need some ice. Oh, yeah. Some ice in there. Oh, that's perfect. All right. Let's see. Let's close that. Oh, let's see. We've got root beer. We've got all kinds of really cool stuff. Oh, how about some pink lemonade? We're going to set that right down to the bottom there. We're going to push the button. All right. Looks great. Now we just need to put a lid on it. Just like that right there. Oh, it's perfect. And now we can slide it into our kids' tray. That's perfect. It looks amazing. Ooh. My movie's about to start. I might need to get stuff for myself. How about some popcorn? <laughs> yep, I love popcorn. And we're gonna go with the big bucket. <laughs> oh, yep, we'll take that. Oh, yeah. How about a slushy? <laughs> oh, here we go. Oh, yes. We'll take it. Oh, yeah. That looks amazing. Oh, smells good, too. <laughs> All right, we got that. We got a straw. We got our popcorn. Let's go. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, this looks great right here. Oh. Ooh. Perfect. You know? I really like to come to the movie theaters really early so I can get the seat that I like right up front, right in front of the screen. Oh, oh, let's see. Let's get one armrest down for my cup holder. Oh, we need to get this one down too. Oh, that's great. Got it all set. Oh, let's see. That's good. 
you know, it's really important. Whenever you come to the movie theaters, well, I gotta do it too. You gotta make sure that you turn off all of your cellular devices, electronic devices. You gotta make sure that you're really polite and respectful to everyone else in the movie theater. You gotta make sure you don't talk during the movie. Well, it's okay to laugh because sometimes it's really funny. <laughs> and I think today our show's gonna be really, really funny. Oh, so we've got our popcorn. I think we're all set. Oh, and the previews are about to start. Oh, this is great. Oh, yes. Popcorn. Delicious. Mm. Oh, yes. Meet Hal, your average everyday handyman. One day he ran out of projects and it left him searching for more. Critics are calling it mm, sensational. Does Hal have what it takes to reach the level of tool master? With time, persistence, and patience, Hal learns to harness the true power of his tools and becomes the Karate Man Hal. Rotten Cucumbers calls it a roller coaster of fun. epic adventure to become Karate Man Hal in theaters sooner or later. Oh, I have to see that. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm. Oh, yeah. Now sit back, relax, and enjoy the movie. Oh. You're the cute little baby. Wow. Oh, oh, wow. My friends, that movie was awesome. Oh, wow. Coming to the movies is so much fun. We've had such an awesome time today at this movie theater. Oh, we got to put out movie posters. Those actually looked pretty cool. Oh, and we got to go into the projection room, check out all of the projectors. And we got to make some popcorn. My favorite movie snack. <laughs> but you know, my handyman duties are not over. Sometimes guests make a little bit of a mess inside the theater. So we need to go clean it up. Oh, we got our dustpan and our broom. Come on, let's go. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, well, we've got the movie theater all nice and clean, ready for the next movie showing. Thanks for watching Amy Now. We'll see you later. <laughs>